And there are certain things in your life that God has placed in your heart. He's given you dreams and vision, and you want to do it, but you're holding back because the provision is not there yet. The provision is not there yet. And you're saying, God, I can't do what you're asking me to do without first seeing the provision. I, I can't do it. And how do I know that all of things are going to work out for me? Let me tell you this. God gives you faith to get started. And he doesn't give you faith to finish until it's time to finish. And the most difficult part is in the middle between starting faith and finishing faith. That's the, that's the real challenging part. It's where I've stepped out in this thing and I don't have any guarantees. That's why if you're in business, there are no guarantees. You, just, you step out in this thing and you got to make it work every day. Every day, every day, every day. You know, there were times when I, I grew up in the, in the business world and we'd go out on our routes and, and they didn't leave us with a stipend. Our stipend were our products. And if we were going to pay for the hotel and be able to eat, you had to sell products to make your money to be able to pay for your, your daily stipend. And guess what? If we didn't sell, we couldn't sleep and we couldn't eat. So we had a powerful selling motivation. And, and, and one of the things, it, it, it increased my passion. And, and this is what I realized. Facts tell the story, but passion sells the story. And it's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting because I had a motivation to sell. Because I knew if we didn't eat, we're not going to be able to pay for the hotel tonight. And we're not going to be able to buy any food. And, you know, when, when, when you can't come home with an excuse to say, you know, ain't nobody buying out there. It's different. It is totally different when, when you got to eat. And you go to that place called there. And the principle here that we are finding in 1 Kings 17 is that God is sending the provisions for your needs, not where you are, but where he told you to go. He sends the provisions not where you are, but where he told you to go. The question is, are you there? Are you there? There, that's the magic question. Are you there? Touch your neighbor, ask them, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? <laughs> and some of you aren't experiencing supernatural provision because you're not there. You're not in that place. You want God to give you everything up front. There's no faith. And God says, you know, go, go, go there. There is a place called there for you. You may not have to even change where you live. Sometimes your there might be an attitude shift. Sometimes it may be a mindset shift. Are you there yet? Are you there? Because if you can't see it, you can't be it. Are you there yet? You cannot go any place in reality that you've not first visited in imagination. You got to see it in your mind's eye. You got to be able to taste it in your imagination before you ever experience it in reality. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? You know how kids are on the trip? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? In five minutes, are we there yet? And it's so difficult. It's like, I'll let you know when we get there. And you can, after you tell them that, they'll still ask you again, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? But when you get to that place called there, you will discover that God has assigned to the place there, to the place there. Wouldn't it be ridiculous for a husband and a wife to have this great discussion about how an embryo is going to be sustained in the womb? But all homeboy has to do is to get the seed there. <laughs> Once he gets the seed there, God says, I got it from here. I got it, I got it. He, and he, even, he lets the mama know, mama, you don't even have to think about it. I got it. I will work this. I'll cause the cell division to start happening. You don't have to be good at math. And trust me, I know some girls that <laughs> they can't count, but they done had babies. <laughs> and he said, I'll, 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 I'll split it and I, I, I'll start it. It may start off as a single cell and it's going from two to four and four to eight. 8 to 16 to 16 to 32 and 32 to 64 and 64 to 128, 128 to 256 and 256 to 512 and 512 to uh, 1024. I mean, he said, I, I got that. I, I, I got it. You don't have to count it. I, I'm going to split it. I will, I will multiply what I send in. If you get it there, I'll multiply it. 
If you get it there, I will multiply it. If you get it there, I will multiply it. If you just get the seed there, if you get the seed of the idea before the capital investors. Are you listening? Somebody is getting the word from God. I'm just telling you, if you can just get there, if you can just get me a meeting with so-and-so, if you can just get there, if I, if I just ever get the opportunity, if you just let me get before them just one time, if I get an opportunity to be able to tell my story, to share my idea, to explain the vision, if, you, if I can just get there, if I can just get there, you will be surprised what God has for you in that place called there. There is some exciting stuff in the place called there. He's got something waiting for you. He's commanded even dirty birds to take your breakfast and your dinner to the place called there. He's not going to bring it to your five-star accommodations. Because you know when you just start now, if you can't start, you can't afford to be all highfalutin. Because when you start something, you got to be the receptionist, the bookkeeper, the PR specialist. Now, if you need to put them on hold and tell and transfer it in, change your voice. <laughs> do what you need to do. Because you're not there yet. One day when you get there, you'll be able to have somebody to say, hold on one moment, I will transfer you over to her right now. And when you're running your business and you don't have the money, it's like, hold on one moment, I will transfer you to accounts payable. And then you conveniently disconnect the call. <laughs> but being there is not always just a, a physical location. Sometimes it's a place in your thinking. It's a place in your imagination. But when you do take that step of faith and just start following God and doing what God tells you to do, there is a supernatural flow of divine provision not only for finances, but also for peace and joy and blessing and anointing and influence and power and authority. And, and uh, you can't even duplicate that with your human effort. And maybe you've got a word from God that you've not acted on yet, and you're waiting on God, and God is waiting on you. You're waiting on God, but God is waiting on you. He's waiting on you. And maybe you ought to be someplace other than where you are. Maybe it is that place called there, that place called there.